nice early Christmas present. Happy mum? Yes, very. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, the bikers are looking. We're going to go on to a national speed limit in a minute as well. We could cause some issues. Yeah, there's quite a big tail back now. They look like Lamborghini wheels. <laughs> Feel the bit of outflow. Welcome back to another video back on the Driven 24-7 Automotive YouTube channel. You join me in my Type R. Although me and my family have owned a few brand new cars in our time, and since I've had the channel I suppose, I've never really documented the collection of a brand new car. And that is what this video is about today, and hence I'm filming this video. Unfortunately it's not a brand new car for me, because I'm well into my old stuff now that I can buy out. Right, I've learnt my lesson there the hard way thrown in many new cars. Today we're actually going to collect a brand new car for my parents, my mum and dad. It's a car I never thought they'd buy. I don't really know why they're buying it but it's a laugh. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to go and collect them and then all three of us are going to go to the garage. That way they can take their brand new car home together and then I can follow them in the Type R. And yeah, just really excited. Although it's not my car, I'm really excited to go along with them and film it. They're obviously even more excited because it's a car for them. <laughs> when you see what they've actually bought, you guys might be thinking, what on earth? And when I show you what they've bought, because I haven't seen any of these cars in person myself, so I can't wait to see one in the flesh. And yeah, it is just, it's just quite funny what they've bought, as I say. So yeah, let's go and collect my parents then. My parents are now in the car. Hopefully you can see them. My mum here, my dad in the back. Dad's got a short straw, literally. <laughs> I'll be in the back. Can one of you say what we're going to go and collect, please? A Citroen Ami. A Citroen Ami, the uh, all new electric, tiny little car from Citroen, isn't it? It is indeed, yeah. What is it, like top speed of like 28 or something miles per hour? Yeah, 28. What's been the process of buying this car? Because it's been bought from you. So it's uh, a bit of a process. Yes, we bought it online, um, yeah. so you don't have to go into a dealer. So we did have a test drive in the dealers. Um, it's just a bit of fun. And we were supposed to collect it on January the 11th. They called us on Tuesday to say that it was in. So yeah. we're early. Yeah, because it was meant to be January time, wasn't it? January the 11th. And as we're recording this, it's two days to Christmas, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 23rd. A nice early Christmas present. Just need to go and collect the car. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we'll see you. We'll see you guys, or you guys will see the car when we get there. So we've just arrived at Citroen, and the uh, car's just outside here. It's not in a Handover Bay, but yeah, <laughs> it looks absolutely tiny. Apparently my uh, parents have got a pack to stick on the car, so they've got stickers and hubcaps, but yeah, here she is. Happy mum? Yes, very. Is this nothing to it, is, there? is that your phone oh. thing? Oh, you got to get a phone holder? Yeah, it's in the, in the pack. Oh, you get a little panoramic roof thing as well. Jeez, I'll follow you then, shall I? <laughs> <laughs> We're just leaving Citroen. I thought I'd follow the Ami. Bearing in mind this is a left-hand drive car, so I'm going to have to um, <laughs> remember it's my dad driving it, not my mum, although my mum is technically in the driver's seat. Just wanted to follow it to see how many looks we get. So although these cars are starting to obviously get on the roads here in the UK, I, like I say, this is only the second one that I've actually seen, and it's obviously one my parents happen to own now. So um, got a nice little uh, Citroenary stick on the back, I see. But bearing in mind its top speed is about 28 miles per hour, we won't be going fast. It will be a slow journey home. <laughs> it looks so, so cute. As we're trying to get out this uh, busy junction, I'm just admiring the cuteness from the car here at behind. We're going to go now. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. <laughs> it's quite cosy. Look how, <laughs> look how close they are together. <laughs> oh, this is... <laughs> Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, they, it looks, it just, it's funny in a funny way. Like, I'm not dissing the car at all. It's just so cute and it's just such a laugh. Here you go, that, look at those. They're looking at it. Nice Santa hats, by the way. <laughs> so that's two families we've just had. We were only two minutes away from the dealership. That's what I'm kind of trying to capture here. Oh, I just think it's so funny. Yeah, she's looking as well. I do actually like the way the car actually looks. It's just, the way to describe it is a small and cute, basically. I think cute sums the car up. Tiny little mirrors on there as well, and a lot of glass in there. Yep, cyclist looking. <laughs> he, did, he turned back on his bike to have a look. That was funny. He's getting loads of looks. This is what I wanted. This is cool. Driving a left-hand vehicle does take 
yeah quite a bit of getting used to so not only that but they've got to get used to the car being new and it's new to them and again that's a whole other story there <laughs> hazards work dad that's where the, yeah, the indicators look nice up there it's like a primer grey colour i believe it's the only colour they come in but the citroen do sell packs and i believe they have got a sticker pack so they can uh I don't know, stick her up and add a bit of colour to the outside of the car, but it's quite nice to be able to follow them on the drive home. There's a couple of people around, see if we get any looks. Yep, they love it. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Yeah, the bikers are looking. People in their cars are looking. I want to stay behind so I can get all the looks. <laughs> there are some people actually in a calf. To, to my right and they're sat at the table and they are they are looking right over they said when they took the car on a test drive they were getting so many people point at them and look at them and now look at my little pretty face the whole process i mean it's funny i'm going to say the whole process of this car is very electronic and we're talking about them buying an electric car ha 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 but when we went to the dealership everything's like all online so my mum was getting emails she had to sign stuff for the handover process the car itself is just basically a very cheap car but it's electric and most electric cars aren't you can't put the word cheap and electric car in the same sentence so Citroen have definitely I think done something different here because you can fit two people in there and it's electric car at the end of the day the downside is it is very small top speed is 28 miles per hour so we will in a minute be going on to some 40 zones and my parents just won't be able to do that hence why I thought I'll just follow behind so I don't feel pressurized to do a speed which I just cannot and they'll definitely want to be avoiding dual carriageways and motorways because you can't get one of them on a motorway so it's kind of like a dangerous car <laughs> on the wrong roads but like I say they own a really noisy Abarth and this little car in front of me is getting so much more looks and attention than their Abarth that they paid more money for and that's been modified pops and bangs and this little car in front of me is getting more looks they're, they're at their top speed now so we're doing 40 well it should be 40 and we've got a bit of a tail back already so yeah this is where we could cause some issues and oh yeah we're gonna go on to a national speed limit in a minute as well and they can only do 28 miles per hour so that's also going to be interesting mm. they definitely didn't need another car that's for sure if you know my family they've got quite a few oh it's an old note what's that astra oh astra saloon beauty i guess it's just going to be an around town car for my parents so we're going into a 40 now and obviously i am stuck at 30 miles per hour <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, this is where it gets a bit sketchy because they just can't do the speed in that little car. I do, I just like the symmetricalness. I like the fact that the car's got um, the front and rear plates are square. So we've got a Porsche coming up to me, next to me now, and that definitely won't want to be sticking behind the 30 mile, mile per hour at me, that's for sure. Yep, there he goes. That was nice as well. Oh, that looks like an electric Porsche. There you go. That's an electric car that can do more than 30 miles per hour. 28, shall I say? It's so funny having it in front of me. Yep, and here we are, national speed limit. Now, and we're stuck at 28 miles per hour. It's a little bit embarrassing. But it's funny, it's funny. It's dangerous, but it's funny. <laughs> yeah, there's a big old tail back now. But it's fun. Not for them people behind me, but it's fun for the two cars here. I know what's going on anyway. You only get a service book with the car. You don't get any how-to manuals or anything. That's because, first of all, there's no how-to. It's like the car is so basic inside, you don't need to learn anything. Yeah, I'm really excited to bring you content on this car. I'll definitely do a whole video on the car, a bit more in depth, but I just wanted to film this collection video because, as I say, as a family, we've had quite, we've been lucky enough to have brand new cars before. But the whole process of getting this car into my parents' ownership was very 21st century. I will probably see you when I'm back at theirs in about five minutes. So yeah, we've actually got someone to stop my parents as they've just uh, parked it up outside their home and someone's actually asking them about the Ami straight away. <laughs> oh, you were getting so many looks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I can see people laughing and looking at it. And, um, coming in then to drive it. Yeah, I will. I'm just looking. And you're um, holding up a lot of people. But it's funny though, isn't it? Yeah. Can I have it? What? Take it for a drive now? Yeah, if you want. Okay. Echoey, isn't it? Wow, it's a lot of storage, actually. And we've got cargo nets to go here. Cargo net here somewhere. Look, you can put a full suitcase here. Yeah, it's quite a bit. So you can put your shopping in there if it's just one or two of you. What do I do then? If you want to go backwards, put it in R. Where's that? Next to it on the, the side left. of you on the left little buttons 
What? But it won't go backwards. Where's the buttons? Down the side. Well, yeah, my seat? Oh, yeah! So put it in R. Yeah, and it won't move until you put your foot on the accelerator. You've got to take a handbrake off, sir. Only ever moves if you're pressing the go button. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? It does feel big in here, though, the seat's up. Yeah. Not oh, hard. Oh, I'm yes. going to go, I think. Oh, oh what the... <laughs> like a little milk float, isn't it? If you remember that. The dash feels so far no, away, though. But the back isn't. It's right close to you. Oh, isn't it funny? Oh, there's a bit of noise to it, isn't there? Oh, it's noisy. But outside, I don't think it is, is it? Oh, and it weird to I'm going to go around the second block. Yeah, yeah you might as well. And we've got a fan-ish. And it does the windscreen. Oh, it's so noisy. It gets up to speed quite quick then, doesn't it? Do you know what it reminds me of? Our electric cars we had when we were Yes. Playing. Do you remember? Battery-powered cars we Yeah. Steam wheel's quite nice and big. <laughs> this sounds really funny. Oh, she's letting us go. Because she's never seen anything like Yeah, she's before. like, what the hell? She didn't seem very impressive, was she? Oh, is it la it's louder than I thought it was going to be. It indicates a nice little noise. Mm. Watch our hotcaps. That is what it sounds like, our battery-powered car she bought us when we were kids. Yeah. Put it in neutral. Neutral, and then put the handbrake on. And turn the key off. <laughs> How do you get... I don't know how to get this out. one here. Pull it. Oh, there it is. Look, I open it from outside. Oh it's yeah. I like the panoramic roof. Look, all this, this like this metal yeah, stuff. Yeah, but we're going to need a sun strip because it's so bright. Yeah, and you'll get all the sun coming in here. I didn't realise that one up there as well. Oh, they've got the charge. Look, there's the adapter. Oh, that is charging thing. Got switches on it as well. It pulls out the car. Yeah. yeah. That's clever. That's the one to charge oh, the Tesco's and things. Martin's here from work. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Don't cover up. But you listen to how loud it is in a minute. Oh, it's noisy, isn't it? It's like being on an underground train. Yeah. It sounds like it's a rocket or a plane taking off, doesn't it? I don't think it's us, is it? It's louder than you'd imagine. It's quite nippy. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? It's quite fun. I feel fun. a bit of milk float. It's quite, that's, yeah, it's quite fun, isn't it? Yeah. I like the viewing, it's good. Yeah, it's so little glass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very cool, isn't it? Yeah. My God. Oh, isn't it? Yeah, I know it's so much light and echoey in there. Is it silent? Yeah. It's echoey. Oh, you should keep that. Where's your just from the dealer? Yeah, and we got this before we got the thing in. So the next go right, there. Yeah, so that'd it gives be handy. You loads of storage. Yeah, definitely. It's just a net, isn't it? Yeah. What's that? This is the carrier bag holder. Look, right, carrier bag handle. Oh, that looks funny. So you funny. Can put like your handbag on it or something. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So we look. What are they? Oh, they fit in the front here? Yeah. Oh, they're nice, aren't okay. they? Oh, maybe you go for this way. Yeah, that's it. Oh, look, you get a little cubby hole thing in it. Yeah. Huh? Look at that. Yeah. Oh, these are proper plasticky. Sure that's... Oh, that's nice. Does he go here? They're nice hubcups, aren't they, Dad? Hmm. You can get them in grey as well, but for orange makes it look hot. What, mm -hmm. black and all? You can get them in black and grey? Yeah. They look like Lamborghini wheels. It's cool that you can just buy like a dress up kit then, isn't it? Mm. The cat's excited. Oh, you scared the cat. That's one side with the hubcaps on. They look quite cool. Are these mats then? Yeah. Are they carpeted or rubber? Rubber, aren't they? Yeah. And private plates as well, aren't you? Yeah, there you go. Amy, for me, was without saying on camera, was it expensive? It wasn't really, was it? Not really? No, no. no. 
So yeah, that'll be on what in seven days' time. Hopefully, well, as soon as we get the log book, yeah. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you enjoyed your new Citroen Ami, yes. yes. Look at mine as well. <laughs> We've all had a go in it. It's not the left-hand drive isn't that hard to get used to, is it? Really, because it's a small car. But um, say something, guys. Please. It's all good fun. Yeah. Happy Christmas. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, Merry Christmas. And we'll do another video on my channel of me taking out for a drive, maybe with mine. We can get some like reactions on people as well. So I hope you two enjoy your car. We Thanks will. for sharing it. It's been nice to document the whole process on uh, YouTube in a video for memories and old times' sake. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Martin, Martin, say bye. 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 <laughs>